Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're talking about the Stride Game Engine. Now this was one of the most exciting open source game engines out there in my opinion, uh, and I did say was, because I gotta admit, I'm a little bit off Stride right now, pun totally intended. Well anyways, uh, Stride was recently updated, and that was a big part of why I was kind of a little bit worried about this game engine. Now if you've never heard of Stride before, it's basically like uh, a bit of a lighter weight uh, Unity type game engine. You use the C Sharp language uh, to do your coding. Now this one has a long and uh, thorough pedigree. It actually started life as something called um, the Paradox 3D game engine, which was then kind of a little confusing of a name. So they renamed it to Zenko. And then the company behind Zenko actually uh, shut the engine down and the maintainers managed to make it open source, at which point they renamed it to Stride. And Stride got a couple of updates uh, it has uh, a fairly decent community behind it, but it really, it's stalled. So there hasn't been an update for a very long time until last month. Now, this is actually a month old, quote, news video. Uh, I actually thought I already did a video on this, to be honest. It was when I was on vacation, but apparently either it was lost in the ether or I just was deluded, and that's possible. Again, I was on vacation in Mexico. A fair amount of alcohol was consumed. But what you see in front of you, this here is Stride 4.1. This is the new release, and this is a beautiful game engine, I have to say. It's also pretty sweet to work with. Uh, if you like the idea of working with C Sharp, uh, but you want something a little bit more simplified than Unity, Stride could be a great choice for you. As you can see from, here's the procedural level generator here. I'll open this up in the in-game editor. Uh, you can see here it is straightforward C-sharp code. And with this new release with 4.1, it is actually uh, .NET 6 code. So it's up to date and current. They are using .NET instead of uh, mono at this point in time, which is also nice to see. So uh, originally, by the way, this was created by Silicon Studios back in the day. That's why you will see these copyrights all around. Uh, but the entire thing is now open source under the MIT license. So so, C Sharp programming to do it, current version .NET 6. Uh, you see here, you use sort of a traditional component system. So for example, here is our character. Our character is made up of a transform component, animation component, a variety of scripts attached to it, uh, and then a model component, which in turn has materials. Materials also have material editors. Uh, everything you would expect is basically here. All of the standard tooling, you need to import 3D models to set up materials to create animations and so on is all in place. The user interface is pretty straightforward. You do have integration uh, with Visual Studio, so you can open this up in the IDE. It works with Visual Studio 2022. There is an extension over there that makes working with Stride an easier process. Uh, it's definitely one of those engines I would recommend checking out. My only caveat is the pace of updates. So we're gonna get back to that uh, in, well, actually, how about right now? So we're gonna head over, take a look at Stride. If you wanna check out Stride, it is available at stride3d.net. As I mentioned earlier on, this is an open source project. The code is hosted up on GitHub. Uh, they do have, uh, by the way, a Discord server if you wanna go check it out. So the source code is available up on GitHub. It is under the MIT license, as I mentioned earlier on. Um, Let's go check out what is new now in 4.1. So 4.1 is now live. Uh, so again, this was literally a month ago, a month plus a couple days ago. Uh, so sorry for the slightly delayed news on this one. Uh, but if you have been following this project, there's a good chance that you probably didn't realize it was still being updated because I'm in the same boat. I, I kind of was fearing for Stride, and I'll show you why in just a second. But anyways, what are the major TLDR versions of what is in the 4.1 release? Well, we have .NET 6 support and the Visual Studio 2020. 22 plugin. Uh, so it power leverages the power of .NET 6, which is definitely nice. Another nice thing about Stride is it entirely uses NuGet for its um, distribution system, which is also nice. Uh, it also has support for C Sharp 10. Uh, we also got support for Dithered Shadows for semi-transparent materials. Uh, we got improvements to physics constraints. It's bullet constraints uh, wrapped around an easy-to-use functionality. And it editor gizmos for physics constraints. Um, so you can actually you know, manipulate them inside the editor itself. Uh, we have physics performance optimized. We have Ace's tone mapping was added to the render. By the way, there is a ton of control over the rendering settings, which is one of the things I've always liked about Stride slash um, what is it? Zenko slash uh, Paradox 3D all along. Uh, it's always had a nice configurable rendering pipeline that isn't really that hard to work with. Uh, we added a fog image effect, outline image effect, uh, improved editor gizmos. Uh, so we got C Sharp intermediate tutorials are now available. I'll show you that in just a second as well. Uh, and there's fixed sample games and one of the nice things about stride actually is there are a number of beginner projects for you to create so for example this one right here is just one of many uh, and then we've got some 
minor quality of life details. So if you want to get into more uh, advanced or more detailed versions of what all this is about, check the uh, this article, linked article down below. Uh, it it kind of drills down into each one of those things for the most part a little bit more. The one that you're probably a little bit the most interested in is this new C Sharp Intermediate Tutorials. Uh, this is a project to create uh, more tutorials for intermediate level um, programmers and so how to learn how to do things it's available as a playlist right now uh, it is slowly being added to their tutorials page as well so you see here you now have a, an intermediate set of tutorials for those people that are you know a little bit beyond the beginner tasks that is always a nice thing to see more documentation nobody ever gets mad about more tutorials so that is another thing that they added in this particular release um, if you're interested in checking it out it, there is kind of like a launching uh, application for it you just basically go ahead and download it uh, in terms of uh, versions, uh, you see here under system requirements, uh, it basically requires uh, Windows. It's also specifically requiring Visual Studio on the back end. Uh, if you're doing uh, Android development, you're going to need Xamarin. I don't think that would probably be true anymore because now that they've moved to .NET 6, I wonder if they still need Xamarin. But if you are going to develop for iOS, you are going to need to have a Mac computer, which is a pretty standard thing. Um, so unfortunately, and I know people request that I say this up front, I always forget to, uh, this is a Windows only game engine. I think they need to update this specifications in general because obviously this is now Visual Studio uh, 2022 instead of 2019. Although, as you can see from the launcher, there still is the 2019 install. So you do not need to use 2022, but 2022 is set up. Uh, this is the launcher. I don't know if I can start it with a project already going. Hopefully I can, because then I want to show you. Yeah, so this is the nice thing about Stride. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded a, and um, added in a version, you're going to find here you've got a number of different samples you can start from. Uh, so, for example, we're seeing Space Escape, Space Escape right now. There's an endless runner uh, demo. Uh, so that is what this guy right here is. If you want to check that out, you can kind of see how, for example, uh, the, the levels are generated. They're all available down here in the code section. Uh, so if you want to learn the basics of Stride, there's a nice set of uh, samples and projects to get you up and going. Additionally, there's some templates here uh, for creating various different style games. So if you want to get started with a first person shooter, a third person shooter, a top down RPG or a virtual reality game, there are templates to kind of get you started in each mold or each genre available right there so it's always been one of the nice things here uh, we also have the uh, the tutorial projects to go along with those uh, video tutorials that I showed you earlier on and the intermediate tutorials were added with 4.1 version of stride uh, so yeah that is stride now back to one of the things I was talking about earlier on and one of the reasons why again I use the words off stride uh, this is the biggest problem I see with stride right now let me just find the stride page again so let's go back to stride and we're gonna go to the blog and we're going to look at the update. So right here, Stride 4.1, what we're talking about today, was released July the 16th. So when was the last release of Stride? Well, that was Stride 4 in February of 2021. So for the 0.1 release, now it's a decent release, as we saw from this version. Uh, but for a 0.1 release, it took a year and a half. And that's when people started thinking, okay, this is a dead project. And, and you know what? It's, there's going to definitely be, if you check out uh, their community, there was constant development going on. Uh, it's just a lack of releases. And you can see here they were doing meetings and such. Uh, but one thing that you're really going to need to do if you're a project like this is more periodic releases because otherwise you look dead, especially when other projects uh, such as, for example, uh, Godot, O3DE, um, the Fold Engine, uh, just to talk about open source ones, and then like, again, Unreal Engine and Unity, etc., are all having like three, four, five, six releases in that time period. It does make you look dead. I actually kind of thought the Stride project was in trouble. Uh, I'm really happy to see that it's continuing to be updated, uh, but this radio silence is a very bad thing for... Um, the perception of your engine and its viability. So again, great to see that Stride is alive, uh, and that is what is new in Stride 4.1. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.